Federal prosecutors can take these cases very seriously. I have many clients, every now and then you'll have someone who they're extenuating circumstances where you can sort of talk them out of moving forward. I have a client, for example, who was an arts leader in the D.C. community, very well known, very well respected. Hadn't been great in how he did his bookkeeping, though. He was getting grants at the federal and city level but wasn't keeping all the dollars in places where they should go. But, you know, we were able to show that there was nothing malicious that he did there, and he certainly didn't take any money for his own personal benefit. Ultimately, the money all ended up going back to these arts programs, and many of them were arts programs for kids. Uh, and so we were able to show the prosecutors that this was a man who had a, a career that was focused on helping to develop the arts in the district, uh, helping to uh, teach kids and get them interested in arts or train in the arts, and that he, he wasn't using the money for any kind of personal benefit. So they ultimately decided not to charge him at all. We don't get that all the time, but you know, if you, if you can get the facts together, present them to the prosecutors in the right way, sometimes you can steer them off and head off a prosecution. Other times they're still gonna move forward with the prosecution. They've decided that there's enough criminal conduct there to, to do it. And then you and your, you know, you and your lawyer need to sit down and think through. Well, is this something where, if we go to trial, we've got a good chance to win, or do we need to try and work something out now and make sure we get the best possible result? And in my view, you know, shield your client from going to jail if possible.